Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin just again. So as we know with Bitcoin, it's been heavily, um, the price has been heavily moved by the FTX bankruptcy case. And this caused a lot of volatility and a sell-off in the price of Bitcoin. However, in recent days, in, in the recent days, we've seen a consolidation, but the question remains, what is next for Bitcoin? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at its current state and how it's looking technically and where the price may move next. So first and foremost, we'll take a look at this weekly chart just to see what we're looking at. And after this massive sell-off last week, just bear with me, guys. Let me add in some things. After this massive sell-off, we finally found a bit of support or rather potentially some consolidation. So as you can see, we haven't been able to break through this level at um, this kind of support zone here, which is at about 15,000. Um, so we're still sitting just around this zone here, 15,000 to 13,000. And that's proving to be a little bit of a difficult kind of zone to break through. So this is our long-term zones. We've got this kind of level here. And we can see that we've had a really aggressive candle and then just a little bit of absorption so far. But looking long-term at our next long-term targets, we've got some support at 12,000. Support 12,000. Oops, sorry guys, don't know why it's not showing. Now we should be better. So we've got our next kind of support at 12,000 and from there on, it gets a little bit murky. So that's really our next level and potentially also we're looking at 10,000. So those are our new, next two targets. Now we're going to move over to that this daily chart and there's a couple of things that I wanted to point out. So first and foremost, we'll just have a look at the structure that we, we, we can see. Zoom in a little bit. What we've got... Um, I'll bring these up a little bit later just so we get a bit of a can get a clear picture. We've got this consolidation happening, and this is what we could see on that weekly where we've had this big sell down here. And we've got this massive volume bar. And since then, our volume has basically been decreasing each time as it starts to become absorbed. And again, we haven't been able to break through this 15,500 level. So we've tried once. We've tried twice, and the question is, well, are we coiling for a move back to the upside, or are we just consolidating for another sell-off to the downside where we go like this? And let's look at some of the tools that we have. We do know with Bitcoin that it does like to go through these consolidations before another move down. We've got one here, got a bigger one here, um, and we've got one here. So three or four... Um, and here, we've got four examples of consolidation before another sell-off. So it's not particularly surprising to see a sell, um, a consolidation, especially on Bitcoin, as the funds get out or they work through that absorption. Um, we'll just get rid of these pictures, these images. So we get an idea that it's not unusual for a little bit of consolidation before that next sell-off. Now we're going to add in these RSIs just to give us a little bit more um, context. So as we can see with the RSI, perhaps it's indicating that the selling is done. What we've got is we've already gone down and rather hit that bottom of the RSI below that 30 mark at that oversold level. And now we've kind of, again, seen this consolidation of the RSI. The question is, well, to go back down or do we bounce up? And if you look at these recent cases, most of the time, once it's hit the bottom, it does bounce up before another move a little bit later, but it doesn't really sell off and then sell back down. And the other thing, guys, I wanted to, us to have a look at is the ATR, which just gives us an indication of where's the volatility going with Bitcoin. And because Bitcoin can be quite a volatile uh, asset to trade, and it is important to have this idea. So one thing we can see is that really since the top, or even earlier, that first peak in 20, April 2021, this volatility has been going down and that trading range of Bitcoin has been reducing pretty significantly. And what this means is, guys, that 
the moves are getting a little bit less aggressive, even if they are selling. As we can see, this move here is getting smaller and smaller. And although that does indicate you know, a reduction in price, it is showing us that we are getting to a point of lower volatility. Now, what we'd expect to see is for another sell down, we would expect to see this ATR perhaps go back up to this trend line. Um, but for the moment, just keep an eye, we'll go back to our main chart, looking forward to the next week and what comes upon Bitcoin. A couple of short-term catalysts are, well, how does this bankruptcy matter with FTX eventuate? Will it be bought out by Binance? Will it um, be bought out by some other firm? Or will it just cease and um, be wound up? What happens to the assets and any kind of regulation in the short term that may be adjusted? And if the, we have some positive catalyst, it wouldn't surprise again to see this bounce back up. Or if other firms become entangled, we may see a breakdown through. And as we said, those next targets at 12,000 and 10,000 are what we would be looking for. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.